Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode here in this Factorio Beginner Guide series. And as always, I'm here with Zuri. Greetings. So, yeah, we uh, moved the T-Junction down a little bit. Uh, I probably could have moved it slightly more, but we wanted to make sure, obviously, that the train can get out again. So this is almost as far, and it should be good. And, uh, yeah, we're going to demonstrate something we haven't really touched on yet. Man, you like living life on the edge. <laughs> yep. So, uh, yeah, we're going to demonstrate something here. Uh, with how things can work if you have multiple stations with the same name, um, this is something a lot of people do that actually can work quite well. And uh, you can actually go over it if you want, Zuri. All right, so we sent both these trains to the same station, Iron Unload, and we renamed the top station. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift right click, shift left click to copy the station name over. Perfect. And now both those trains can go to both of these stations. It'll usually choose whichever is closest, and there's actually a, a weighted track length penalty to get to the station based on how long the train has remaining. Okay. Interesting. So that iron train should be coming up here shortly and pulling into the bottom station. Perfect. And then, yeah, since and both stations are named the same it, thing, it actually, uh, you know, like, like when you first think about it, you might think it would cause problems, but actually it'll work fine. Because now this dude will just go to whatever one is free. And you could do this with however many. Yep. Do four, ten, whatever. Well, there is a practical limit. Like I said, since it adds station weight or a track lake penalty to its pathing algorithm, mm -hmm. the most tracks you can have between the first and last station and have it choose it correctly without stacking for the first is like 60 track lengths about since uh okay if i remember correctly it's six tracks per second and we have a 10 second unloading right and this is a lot less than 60. yeah a lot so um i mean we could do it with all four here if we wanted probably and uh it'd work good and this would work probably even better um, if we had a stacker, which we'll probably add at some point. But, uh, but yeah, so this is all running now, and we can now have both trains coming in at once. Um, of course, we're probably, we're not using nearly all this ore, but that's fine. We will at some point. And, uh, yeah, what, what should we do here we probably need to go actually kill some bases there's one up north that keeps respawning yeah you can hit the one up north i'm going to stamp out another solar and kill the one that's right next to the solar fast okay sounds good so yeah i'm gonna head up north um i'm gonna swap out my personal row port here for my shield Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. And I don't need to be carrying all these bots around, that's for sure. And uh, a lot of stuff you can, again, don't remember if we went over this, but um, you can shift click a lot of stuff into your trash slots, uh, but some stuff you can't. Um, the robots there, you could see I couldn't do that, so sometimes you have to just manually drag them. But if you didn't know, then quite a bit of stuff you can just shift click it. Oh my god. The bots are so lazy. The intermediate items, like the intermediate tab things, the same things with the productivity, that stuff gets moved over automatically to your trash slots. Okay. So, so that's the stuff you can, like, shift-click. But, I mean, there's, unless I'm, like, blind, um, there's a few other things, though, too, right? Because, like, I can shift-click wood and stuff over there. Okay. 
he might have dropped out. I think I'm here still. Okay. Oh man, this space is kind of scary. Decent fall. I'm trying to figure out what these bots are doing with all this wood. <laughs> are, are they like actually taking it and doing something with it? They paused for like a solid minute. I'm kind of confused. That's weird. We're having some weird stuff. Like off screen too, when we were setting up the mining, like we had a blueprint and blueprinted some miners and we had robots and the materials and they like refused to do anything with it. It was really strange. Oh man, combat is so dangerous with this high of a latency. I may have made a poor choice. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, so there's that base gone. We'll just kind of make our rounds here, take out anything that gets in our way. Switch between poison and distractors here. I think poison is probably still the best way to take out the worms. Got some more destroyers. Big worm, oh dear. But actually, if you can get up close, um, you can nail them with the shotgun, and that will actually take care of the worms pretty damn quick. Whoa, 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 stop. What are you doing? Oh no. Oh god. Jerks. <laughs> Zuri's brought the horde into our solar system. You made it sound like it was a planetary scale. <laughs> okay, I need more robots. What we need is a ro uh, robot count research. Yeah, that, after this research, we should definitely do that. Okay, so I think I got everything up here in the pollution range. And there might be stuff down south uh, pretty soon we'll need to take out with all that pollution from the mines. These guys were setting up a new base. I caught them in the act. <laughs> How embarrassing. Bet they weren't expecting that. Alright, so that's finished. Yeah, definitely robot follower count. Which is pretty expensive, and I think... I meant to kind of check further, we were having a bit of an issue with plastic and maybe batteries as well. I hope we're not having a problem with plastic. Um, we recently expanded that. Well, it was the plastic that was going on in the belt for the advanced circuits for like Blue Science. We didn't have any of those. Um, but for the most part, it actually looks like it's okay. If anything, batteries could be a little better. I think the issue where they were just slow. Yeah, we probably just need to expand it. 
Yeah, I mean, a lot of them have productivity modules. I could go crazy and just like speed beacon them instead of expanding it. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. Alright, sweet. I'll get on that. Um, beacons. Okay, I should have beacons. Let's grab some modules if we have any. Should. Maybe. Where the hell are the module threes? Oh. Okay, there's those. Oh dear. How are we out of... What? What are you out of those? What are you out of those? Why are these not working? Oh. We actually have an advanced circuit shortage in the network. Pretty, pretty bad one, actually. I'm trying to figure out why. And I think it's actually due to a plastic shortage. We do actually have a plastic shortage in the network. Yeah, the plastic shortage is due to a coal shortage. Oh dear. And here I thought... It's not being placed in the network anywhere. So I'm going to replace some of these wooden boxes with passive providers. Good idea. Yeah, I guess we kind of neglected to do that. I think by some, I mean all. By all, hey, that works. So, we have plenty of solar panel um, power. I'm just, I might be going a little overboard, but. You can't go overboard on solar, because we're going to need it all eventually anyway. True. Yeah, I meant like, um, I might be doing a little too much beacons here, but we'll see. Um, actually throw a few more in here. So this guy in here... I think I figured out why the bots are hanging up so much. Oh yeah, why? I think we ran out of the storage chests. Oh, that would make sense. Yeah, we haven't added any for quite a long time. Well, okay, did you just add these? Yeah, I think that was the issue. So yeah, it can, always, it can definitely be a good idea to uh, just set up like a huge central storage area or multiple storage areas throughout the base because otherwise you have that happening where the robots just sit around and won't do anything because they have nowhere to put stuff. All right, so, man, the pollution is real. All right, so it's a cute pollution cloud. I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's probably just like a baby one compared to your bases. All right, so to the north west, there's that massive uh, oil patch by the coal patch. There's a base there. I can see the pollution flickering on it, and it looks pretty huge. To the northwest. Uh, might be blind, but... Oh, northwest, duh. I'm looking the wrong direction. Oh, yeah. It's newly formed. It doesn't show up on the map. Oh, yeah. That looks like it could be pretty big. We should probably go take that out. My thoughts exactly. 
Don't want any shenanigans. Dude's coming in and killing all our stuff. Alright, so... Also, there's that iron patch here we could get. Yeah, there's a... Uh, on vanilla settings, there's a lot of ore. Probably more than you would need. That's why a lot of people like to use stuff like RSO. Wow, you were right. That's huge. Holy hell. And what does Zuri do? Runs headfirst in. <laughs> of course. How else are you supposed to kill him? True. Oops, I don't want to shoot you. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, I think we got all the artifacts. We should have enough artifacts to definitely finish out whatever we need to do. Yeah, most definitely. And this is a very impressive little oil field we got here. Yeah. And wow, yeah. Huge yields here. Which reminds me, um, probably would be advantageous to put some speed modules in these oil rigs um, that we have closer to the base. I noticed them, that they were out and we didn't have any speed in them. Yes, that's a very good idea. And did we... Oh, that's interesting. So, apparently, like, some stuff, like... Um, the belt for the iron mine that's directly west doesn't show up on my mini-map. Is that the case for you? Yes, but I blame that on my GUI scale being not 100%. Okay, that's weird. Mine is 100%, I think, and it still doesn't show, which is kind of strange. All right, I'm going to fix that iron train. It's bothered me long enough. Wait, which iron train? That the coal train. Oh, coal train. The crisscrossy weird one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your OCD is too strong. It's also a death hazard. Very true. And why do we have oil issues again. What seems to be the problem here? Oh, because I sped all these up, this stuff can't keep up, that's why. Oh well, that should be good. It's backing up. Alrighty, so... You're working on that. We have iron coming in. And uh, I'm trying to think what else to, to do here. Set up. If I can get out of here. Damn. Alright, so... Why? We have a major... Shortly here, we should start working on the uh the silo and those builds yeah that's a good idea and actually we have a potentially major iron shortage on our main bus here oh dear well then let's uh let's get rid of it get rid of the main bus iron yeah okay i mean we're still using it for a lot i will just We'll have to just redo some stuff for logistics. That's yeah, probably a good idea not to do it this episode. Unless you think we have enough time. Yeah, I don't think we have enough time. <laughs> it's going to take some doing here. Um, yeah, I guess I'll kind of just leave it be until we can change it. But yeah, so for the rocket silo, which... Did we even research that yet? 
No. No, that's why I was researching the rocket speed. Right. Okay, so we need steel. I mean, we pretty much have everything, except we actually don't have concrete being made, which is something I could set up here really quick. We need a thousand concrete. Uh, we should have stone in the network. I kind of remember you setting up a miner for that. Yeah, we do. Um, I actually do a little bit of a dedicated thing for concrete here. Do it like maybe here. And concrete just takes uh, brick, iron, and water, so I'm going to need to make the brick somewhere. Um, did you? Okay. And of course we have no electric furnaces because we have no brick. Great. Well, that's a catch. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, do you happen to have any electric furnaces on you? I can craft six. Oh, so can I. What do you know? I guess I'll just make them. Um, now, if we were to, like, concrete our entire base, does that type of thing create lag, or does concrete not really? It doesn't create it directly. It vastly increases the pollution because concrete stops the ground from absorbing pollution, which I've, I haven't measured it exactly. I'm not sure how much it lags out the game, but I know it does increase it. It causes uh, more checks to be made for the pollution spread, and it keeps chunks active. Right. Okay. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Alright, thanks. So... Yeah, that's why I usually avoid uh, putting concrete down if possible. I'll make roadways and such, but outside of that, I avoid concrete. Probably a good idea. And then there's, like, Colonel Will, who's concreted his entire damn railway. Yeah, a lot of people put way too much concrete, in my opinion, but oh well. <laughs> Alright, and actually need to s expand this network, surprisingly. So just get you here. Alright, so you're going to request stone. Uh, 25 is probably good. Copy paste, and you can work if there's a less than thousand brick in the network. That's really slow. I'm gonna need to speed module that, or just add more. Maybe that's better. Either way, we've got plenty of modules. True. Very, very true. Alright, I'll just add a few more here. Maybe. Come on, guys, you gonna build it? Jeez. All right, set up uh, concrete here. If I can, damn it! <laughs> it is not fun to turn assembling machines for the liquid input when there's lag. Not at all. All right. 
and uh, I'll make a bit more than we need for the silo just in case we do want to put it in some places here. Um, let's just say 2,000. So, how are you getting water down there? Well, my plan was um, apparently not a very good plan. <laughs> uh, we got bots. You can pick it up and move it anywhere. Yeah, this thing. Um, I wish you could barrel water in vanilla. That would be so nice. All right. Yeah, I guess I'll just move it. Damn it. <laughs> what just happened to my blueprint? All right. Tear it down. Okay, where's somewhere else I can put this that's actually close to water? Maybe up here somewhere. I'll just do it here. Alright, so you're going to do that. Um, and then... Robots are so lazy. You're gonna go like that. Bring this guy over. Too much, apparently. And, uh. Yeah, there we go. Actually, doesn't look bad. Power him up. Request in the brick. I think. How much does this take? Five. Yeah, should be good. Takes a long time to make. And then also it takes one iron. That's like five iron ore. Alright, and I think with that, uh, we are actually out of time for this episode. Um, just double check these, make sure they're working. But yeah, I think that's going to be it. So we will uh, probably end up doing away with this main bus thing of iron here and just go completely robot-based stuff. Uh, but yeah, until next time, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. hope it was helpful. Uh, any thoughts, questions, comments, uh, post them down in the comments. And until next time, we will see you later. Okay. See you later.